Hello, all my friends. I hope you're having a fabulous, outstanding day. And today, little bike tidbit for newbies, I guess, in particular. Uh, one of the most common complaints that everybody always has with their bike, regardless of who made the bike, is their kickstand. Their kickstand either is flimsy or it is always coming loose. Now mine came, mine has come loose a couple different times and I tightened it up and the part, they're adjustable so they can go up or down the lower half of the uh, kickstand. Uh, one time mine started to slide and I caught the bike right before it fell. So then I used Gorilla, I tightened that nut up and then I used Gorilla Tape all around it, and it's never happened again. But I ride this bike so much, and I'm always stopping, and I'm always taking breaks, getting off the bike, and um, putting the kicks down, down. So the more you do that, and just vibration from riding causes the screws to get loose. So today, I am going to change out my kickstand with a better one and we're going to put this on it so most of you who are experienced riders probably know about it it's it's loctite they make a couple different varieties this is loctite blue number 242 and it says removable so I put this on some of my other screws on the bike, uh, my handlebar, extender, and all, because that would always loosen up. This, when you put this on your screws, your screws will not vibrate loose. Your screws will stay good. You put Once I put this on the kickstand, it is not going to go anywhere. If I want to take it off, change it, loosen those screws, I might have to eat my vitamins in the morning before I do it but it is doable. Loctite makes a product that you don't want to use because when you put it on those threads and tighten everything up, you will need a cutting torch to get it off. It will never come off. So you want to make sure that you use Loctite Blue and it specifically says it is removable. So this is the old kickstand which worked. I just always had to tighten it up. See the Gorilla Tape? This is the new one I got on Amazon. See how much bulkier it is? It's bigger. The part that attaches is bigger. This part is more stout and it's longer. It's longer. So my bike's not going to lean as much. Now, before I tighten up this lower one here, I'm going to try the kickstand out on different surfaces. I have a driveway that's on a hill. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try it in the street. I'm going to try it flat on my garage. And I'm going to pick the best length. And then I'm going to just add a little drop of Loctite on that one and tighten it up. And then I'm going to add the Loctite up here on this new one. But you can see that new one. That new one is pretty stout and you can hear it. This is pretty beefy, much beefier than the one that came with the bike, much beefier. Solid metal, pretty solid. So we're going to take this one off, put this one on. We're going to test drive it on different surfaces. Once we have the right surface, once we have the right length for the for the surfaces, I'm going to take some painter's tape, put it on here so I can mark it so I don't miss my spot, and then I'm going to Loctite it and then put it on. So we have our new Christmas toy tool that I bought myself, and we're going to loosen loosen this up. And in case anyone's wondering how that bike is standing up, I have these tire. I have these racks stands for the front tire. And I actually just bought a second one. 
So I have one for the front. I lift up the back, put the back in. Uh, so I don't even rest it on the kickstand when I'm in the garage, but this has become a good way to work on the bike. And that's why the bike is not falling over. All right, got the new one on. We used our Allen to, tight, to start it in. And then we had to get a 10 millimeter wrench to go behind and you actually tighten up the nuts from behind and then that doesn't move. So we're going to, we're going to try it out to see what is the best height. And then we are going to mark it with some painter's tape on here. And then we're going to little drop of Loctite Titan. Loosen these up back here. Lock tight and tighten. All right, we got the spot. We marked it with some blue painter's tape. Shake this up really good. This lock tight removable. I've loosened up the screws and the, the screw here and the nuts behind here. And you only need a little, you only need a drop. You don't need to take it completely off, just need to loosen it up. Of course, I just ripped it all over the place, made a mess. Hard to do with sausage finger, man. Then all you got to do is tighten it all back up. So we're tighten that up. Tighten up back here. It sets up in 20 minutes, fully cures in 24 hours. And then you will not have a wiggly wiggly kickstand all the time. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something good out of it. I love you all. See ya.